All right, with the 98 Yamaha Banshee, one of the first things he said he was looking to change was the pipes, we'll put new pipes on it. And then he was um, complaining about, after he rode the bike for about five minutes, when the bike get nice and hot or warm, the back, the back wheels will lock up and the motor will turn off. So that sounds like it could be a, probably a transmission problem, bad crank or bad crank bearings. And then like a, by the chain casing, you can see the chain definitely then came off before it hit the casing and cracked the whole casing off. So definitely he, it, it could be a transmission problem. And then he was complaining about the bike losing like power as he switched through all the gears. So we have a loss of power problem and most likely a transmission problem. Okay, one of the first problems I noticed is with his um, gas pet cock, the on and off switch. This is one of the reasons it was leaking because his pet cock is, is, is broke. So it was leaking gas through this, through the stem. You don't supposed to do that. So one of the first things he gonna need is definitely a pet cock. Okay, I got the spark plugs out. Like I said before, you always want to check the spark, even though we know this bike's starting up perfect. But the bike have good spark. But these spark plugs definitely is burnt out. Yeah, these spark plugs definitely like toasted. But um, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the reeds off and we're gonna see how the reeds looking in the, but this boost bottle, like a lot of people be having, some people be having boost bottles. These boost bottles just look good. They just do, like they just look like they do something, but boost bottles really don't make a difference. You know what I'm saying? These boost bottles, they just, it just sound good for somebody to say, my, my, my bike got a boost bottle on it. But it really don't make a difference with, with these banshees. All right, I got the reeds, got the reeds off it. Both his reeds in, in good in good shape. They don't got no cracks on them. So the reeds definitely is perfect. Okay, so I got the I got the top end off and it looked like I found a problem. And see his crank, his cranks is still good, both his cranks. The crank still, still perfect. The left crank and the right crank. They don't have no play. It's still free. The crank bearing is still good. But now the problem, the problem why the bike was locking up is because, as you can see, it have a lot of scratches on the pistons. A lot of scratches. Even the cylinders, the cylinders got scratches. Both of the cylinders scratched up inside. Real bad, like they scratched up bad. And see what that was doing is what was causing the bike to lock up. After the bike get hot, while the bike getting hot, the pistons expand. And so while the piston was expanding inside those cylinders, it's like the pistons were getting welded to the cylinder, to the cylinder walls. And that what was causing the bike to lock up to lock the wheels up and cut off. Then when it cooled back up, the bike will start back up after the pistons go back down. But I thought it was, it's definitely, it's not a transmission problem. This is the, this the problem right here.